Hey, what's up guys? Second Crip over here back again with another modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, we're going to be going over one of the core components in the quadruple ore processing process. The salination plant from Mechanism slash Mechanica. So, the salination plant is, uh, the salination plant is the way to get brine in Mechanism slash Mechanica. It is also known as the thermal evaporation plant, but it was it was known as the salination plant like way back when. So I'm going to be using the terms interchangeably in this tutorial. So uh, just know if I say salination plant, I mean thermal evaporation plant. So how do you build one of these things? Glad you asked. So there are four basic components in the salination plant. They are the thermal evaporation controller, the valve, the block, and the advanced solar generator. The thermal evaporation controller is required in every in every salination plant slash thermal evaporation plant that you need or that you make. To make one, you're going to need five thermal evaporation blocks, a bucket, two advanced control circuits, and a glass pane. Thermal evaporation blocks are made with four steel ingots and a copper ingot, and you get four of them per craft. Alrighty. Oh, and then the valve. To get one of those, you're going to need four blocks and and a control circuit, and you get one of them. Alrighty, so the ba and so the base size of a thermal evaporation plant can be three blocks tall. So it's always a four by four base. Let's go ahead and just I'm just so it's always a four by four base. So let's go ahead and uh, put these put these out now. So uh, so then. Don't fill in the, uh, so then you don't need to, wait, no, you do need to fill in the corners, never mind. It's always a two by two internal space, and two of the sides need to have, uh, two of the sides need to have input for fluids. So you're going to need to take out two of the blocks and put in valves. So one side will be the input for water, the other side will be the output for brine. Uh, the, one th uh, the one thing I will tell you, the, uh, the, uh, the thermal evaporation plants, can also make brine into lithium. So, uh, if you uh, so if you want to make lithium later on, this is how you do it. But more on that, uh, more on that later. So, <clears throat> one side. Uh, so, like I said, one side uh, one side will be input for water. The other side will be input uh, output for brine. So let's go ahead. Let's get a uh, let's get a tank really quickly. So let's just get a uh, let's just get a portable tank with a resonance conversion kit. Just so we have plenty of room. There we go. That should be plenty of space. And then, if you want to automatically output fluids, you can do. Er, you, so, if you want to pump up fluids, there's the electric pump from Mechanism. This uh, this is this is what I used in my Kirby's Mod and Minecraft series when I wasn't inputting water fast enough. This uh, this will take a, a lot of water. So uh, let's let's finish building this first. So a basic three block tall uh, will have, <clears throat> okay, so uh, so the top layer will always have the thermal evaporation controller and then and then you can have thermal evaporation blocks all around. And uh, they can also, they can be in the corners, but you need to have at least one advanced solar generator. This is big enough so that way you can, uh, that way you can put four around here. It's recommended you put four because that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the best amount of uh, heat generation you'll get for this. So that's a, that's how a three block tall works. <clears throat> it's more efficient if you build this in a desert because uh, because the biome matters. So let's go ahead and put an electric pump here as well. So we're going to need to get some power. Whoops. I'm just bringing this energy cell with me because uh, can't exactly I can't exactly do a laser out from this far away. This is almost a kilometer from my base. So. Oh, uh, just a second. Power goes in the side. Don't forget that. And we're also, I'm also going to want to speed this up and uh, decrease how much energy it uses as well, because because uh, <clears throat> this this will uh, this will pump up water pretty quickly. So let's also get some uh, ultimate fluid pipes because I can. So ultimate fluid pipe. Pump that in here. So as, soon, so as soon as you start putting water in, it'll uh, it'll start converting the brine. But uh, but obviously, like a three block tall isn't uh, a three block tall isn't uh, isn't like the the tallest. So 
why don't we just why don't we go ahead and bump this up a bit so this can go as tall as 17 blocks so let's go ahead and uh, build this up really quickly so thermal evaporation blocks this is valid as well but uh but obviously the temperature is not going to be uh that high all right uh let's see so this is at three right now so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then the top layer is going to be 17. All right, here we go. Yeah, this this can get pretty tall, so uh, keep that in mind. All right, so we got that and that. There we go. A 17 block tall thermal evaporation plant. So this will uh, this will get uh, this will get plenty of heat, uh, luckily. So you can. I think, if I remember correctly, you can also pump heat into this, which is, uh, that, uh, that works, so. And this, uh, this will also hold a lot of water and, uh, and pretty much, like, convert it as fast as you get it if your, uh, if your heat is up, so. Okay, really quickly, oops, uh, that's, whoops. Okay, let's just get an ultimate fluid tank. And then I also need the configurator. All right, there we go. So now it's pulling. Uh, now it's pulling all the brine out. So, uh, so the uh, so the more heat you have in the thermal evaporation plant, the faster the uh, faster water converts into brine. And uh, like I mentioned in the last tutorial, you need brine in order to do quadruple ore processing because brine splits into sodium and chlorine, and you need the chlorine to get hydrogen chloride, so that way you can, uh, so that way you can uh, quadruple your ores. So yeah, this is necessary if you want to do the full quintuple ore processing setup. But I think that'll do it for this brief tutorial on the thermal evaporation plant slash salination plant, if you are familiar with the old terms. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider leaving a like as it helps me out tremendously. Also, if you want to see more mechanism slash mechanica tutorials, let me know. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. Post it in the comments or tweet it at me. Just let me know and I will do my best to make it happen. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.